according to the statistics, over 400 companies that export to Canada are mostly small and medium-sized enterprises. We hope that these companies will profit significantly from reducing the administrative burdens. CETA brings new businesses business opportunities for our agri-food industry as Canada agreed to eliminate 90% of all its agricultural tariff lines up and entering force. Our wines and spirit exports could benefit not only from tariff elimination, but also from the removal of other sectoral trade barriers. Um, what, what's at stake? What we need is free and fair trade. I don't think CETA offers free and fair trade, but it offers freer and fairer trade. So it's big progress. But we will need free and fair trade. Um, and why am I emphasizing this? In the past, I think too often with these international agreements, we've uh, pretended that free is automatically fair. Um, and that's not the case. And unfortunately, this sort of what some people call the neoliberal paradigm is probably both politically and economically unstable, and uh, not to mention environmentally, socially, and so on. Um, and I think it's a, it's, it's a huge mistake to feel one can have free trade and I would say unfair trade. It's not stable. Um, that's something we are moving away from, but unfortunately, some people, both in Europe and also in North America, notably to the south of Canada, um, are now proposing what they think is going to be less free but fairer trade. I think it's very much a populist case that people are making, but I don't believe in it in a minute. I think, I think it's a lot of nonsense. Um, uh, um, having, uh, not having free trade, rolling back globalization is extremely unfair. 